Welcome back to another enriching episode of In Her Footsteps, a space where we celebrate the trailblazing Latina spirit through stories of entrepreneurship that inspire and motivate. I'm your host, Maria Salinas. Today, we're honored to spotlight Stephanie Vasquez, a remarkable mother and the dynamic entrepreneur behind Fair Trade Cafe. We're about to dive into her compelling journey from the classroom to championing sustainable entrepreneurship. So, are you ready to be inspired and transformed? Well, let's be honest, it wasn't a, oh, I'm just gonna go start a business and leave teaching. I, I started teaching in 2004 in a community called Santa Maria, okay. a high migrant community, lots of farm working families. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. And I had done a little bit of traveling and, and on my travels is where I learned about coffee. I didn't know coffee was a plant. Mm -hmm. yeah. I literally had no idea. Um, and I just realized that as a consumer that, I mean, coffee is very exploitative to our people and to mm -hmm. our earth. Okay. And so when I when I learned that, I was shook and I just thought, wow, I'm part of something that's not that's detrimental to our earth and to our people. So I just thought I wanted to come back and I wanted to educate in another way. And I wanted to educate people on consumerism and how we can create positive impact from our day to day purchases. So the idea was never to leave education because that that's my passion is to yeah. teach. So I remember when I first started my business, everyone was like, the fair trade cafe, what does that mean? And that's mm -hmm. that's not sexy. That's not cool. No, but it's very, I think, it, it, I mean, the name just is an educator, right? Probably right. that's why you were like, oh, it's a fair trade cafe. Yeah. Yeah. And even if we rewind to 2007, mm -hmm. I don't think consumers at the time, I know consumers at the time were not worried about sustainability. No. They, I mean, those types of things, it was a very forward thought. So the Fair Trade Cafe, 15 years ago, the name, people didn't know yeah. what it meant. Why? Now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense. And it's like, oh, it says it all. Like mm -hmm. you, you understand that the business, the foundation is derived from sustainability and conscientious consumerism. Stephanie shows the magic of following your calling. Her inspiring shift from teacher to sustainability change maker mirrors society's move to conscious living. Have you felt that pull? If so, share below. Up next is Stephanie's wisdom on self-compassion and courage to forge new paths. I would tell Stephanie to give yourself grace and, and to enjoy it. Where This life is a playground. Yeah. To get on all the swings and go on all the monkey bars and to have fun. Even in the stressful moments. Yeah to see them for what they are. Have and you been hard on yourself uh, in, in time? I would say the first eight years of business, I was hopping out of bed, heart pounding, go, 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 and just plowing through. Yeah. And years went by and I didn't remember them mm -hmm. because it was just like pushing through. Yeah. And it's like, even it saying felt that. felt like, oh my God, it's just, I'm not gonna get to my goal. I'm so yes. pressed on time, yes. stuff like that. It, it was always what's next, not where I was. And now it's like, hold on a second, enjoy every moment. Yeah. And, and again, give, give yourself grace, mm -hmm. enjoy where you're at. Cause right now when, when we're done here, this is over. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever see you guys again. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that's really how it is. Every time I walk into my shop at that moment, that those people that are there and that experience is only that experience at one time. Stephanie, your perspective is truly refreshing. Each moment is a gift and your approach reminds us to cherish it. Now a question for our audience. How do you practice mindfulness and stay present rather than constantly looking ahead to the next task? We'd love to hear your strategies in the comments. Let's gain insight from Stephanie on the art of perseverance. I would say to love yourself and to go, go do it. Don't wait one step and then the other step. You don't need to wait to know it all or to meet the right person or to have the whole plan, just go. So true, Stephanie. One action sparks the flame. Entrepreneurs unite and uplift each other. 
take advantage of the USHCC conference to network with Latinas and partners like Bank of America. Visit ushcc.com for information. Up next, how Stephanie artfully blends work and home. I think my life and my work and my family and my team and my community is all braided together. Okay. I remember as a child hanging on to the kitchen sink when my mom would braid my hair and my, my eyes would be Very super cool. tight. And that that to me is how every strand of hair is, is kind of like that. The community, my business, my nonprofit, my children, my community, my business, it's all intertwined. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do find so much value in taking care of myself yeah. in a way where I protect time in the beginning and at the end of my day for my my rituals, my practices, exercising, those types of things. Yeah. Um, however, in in the middle is a mixed bag. It's a, it's a complete mixed bag. I don't believe that for me that there's this complete hard balance. There really isn't. The squeaky, the squeaky wheel's going to get the oil. Yeah. And then you continue the journey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And to me, so nice for me, like guys. balance is kind of boring. Yeah. I need okay. a little spice. Remarkable how work, family, and life can harmonize. Ladies, don't forget me time. Self care is crucial. Now let's hear Stephanie's invaluable insights on resilience in the business world. You know what I tell myself is I'm like, this is a test. Oh, it is. This They're is a test. a test. So I quickly stop and I'm like, okay, Stephanie, who are you going to be in this moment? Because when everything's perfect in your life, of course you're pleasant and you're enjoyable and yeah. you're happy. But when it hits the fan, that's when you know who you are. Oh. So that's that's why I tell you, I sit down and I just kind of laugh. I center myself again and it's like, okay, who am I going to choose to be right now? Which version of Stephanie are you going to bring out? It's a lot of self-talk. A lot it of self-talk. It is a lot of self-talk. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, your resilience is a beacon for us all. Life and business are full of twists and turns, and a good sense of humor can be your best ally. Let's talk about self-talk for a moment. It's a potent tool, and I hope you'll all use it wisely. Keep it positive, let it motivate you, and above all, be kind to yourself. There's no need to be your worst critic. Instead, be your best supporter and learn from your missteps. Let's explore the transformative power of collaboration and learning from others with Stephanie. And I just encourage people to ask. Exactly. If you see someone who is successful or doing something that you want to do, ask them how. Ask yeah. them how because we want to share. I want to share all my practices. I want to share. I want to connect you to someone who yes. can help you. Yes. So I think that that how does she do it and like the envy part yeah. of it, it's completely unnecessary. It doesn't yeah. honor the person or myself. Yeah. And and I mean, I know you ask me and I'm gonna tell you, I even told you guys, don't ask me something you don't want an answer to. <laughs> yeah. And there you have it, amigas, the essence of collaboration and collective growth. Thanks to Stephanie for sharing her wisdom and inspiration with us today. Before we say goodbye, I want to sincerely thank our committed sponsors, the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and Bank of America. Your support for elevating Latina entrepreneurs is invaluable. Much appreciation to our production team at MNW Creative Studios, Identity, and Director Rico Moreno for bringing these stories to life. As we wrap up, Remember, these narratives are meant to uplift and inspire you. Please like, share, and comment if today's stories resonated with you. And consider joining your local chamber too, where community and resources are there for you. This is Maria Salinas signing off. Keep your ambitions high and determination strong. Until the next time.